please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Muswobi. The former governor of Lagos State and one of the national leaders of the All Progressive Congress, APC Ashiwaji Bola Metinobu, has said he wouldn't decline the many calls by supporters and admirers for him to run for presidency in 2023. Tinobu has made this known on Tuesday, December 14th, in Abuja after a closed door meeting with the leaders of Northern Alliance Committee NEC. According to this day, he said, I am not going to turn them down, but I will still effectively and widely consult, particularly brainstorm with many friends with my friends and find a day to come out openly and tell nigerians but the president is still in office i don't want to distract him from all the challenges he might face today so don't muddle the political waters consult make our program known to the people later and the intention is clear so you can keep guessing he said the federal government has openly said that marriages conducted by ecoji registry are considered valid the federal ministry of interior has said the ministry said this in a statement on Tuesday, December 14th, while, re while reacting to viral reports that a federal high court sitting in Lagos has nullified all weddings conducted by the Ikoyi marriage registry. According to the ministry's permanent secretary, principal registrar of marriages, Dr. Shoaib Begori, there were existing court judgments empowering the federal government through the Ministry of Interior to conduct marriages by virtue of legal notice issued pursuant to the marriage act. It is further worthy of note that the issue of formation, annulment and other matrimonial causes are by virtue of item 61 of the first schedule of the 1999 constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria exclusively reserved for the federal government. Then the general public is invited to know that these judgments are all still subsisting, competent and have not been appealed against the date, he said. Abdullah Sule, governor of Nasara State, says the effort of President Muhammad Buhari will be more appreciated when he leaves the office in 2023. Speaking after a meeting with the president in Abuja on Tuesday, December 14th, the governor said, I told the president that some of your effort for the country will be more appreciated when you leave the office. Today, you are the architect of the Ajaukuta to Kaduna to Kano gas pipeline. Recently, Nasara State is signed has signed an MOU after our guys round table in the state capital Lafia where the top management of NNPC were around. We discussed gas utilization and we are bringing our own experience of what happened in the West African gas pipeline where it was tapped from Shagamu into Ikeja and all the industries they are utilizing gas. So for a country like Nigeria that has over 200 trillion standard cubic feet of gas to say that somebody is building a gas pipeline for the utilization of gas, I don't think that it is a small thing, but a lot of people will not understand this until maybe when the president leaves office and in future, when we begin to have LPG everywhere for cooking and LNG, so that most of our vehicles will convert to gas rather than petrol. Many cannot see now what is going to happen tomorrow, and by that time, they will say who did this, and they will be told it's President Buhari and who bless him. The House of Representatives has approved President Muhammad Buhari's loan request of $5.8 billion and grant of $10 million. In approving the loan, the House asked that the terms and conditions of the loan from the funding agencies be forwarded to the National Assembly for proper execution and commendation. The committee, the House Committee on Hates, Loans and Department and Debt Management had presented its report through the Chairman Rep. Ahmed Safana, APC Casina. Safana observed that out of the total borrowing of $5.8 billion covers $2.3 billion for the grid modernization and expansion program, $290 million for the malaria project, $700 million for the sustainable water supply, sanitization and hygiene wash project, $786 million for the Gurara Phase 2 project among several others. That the House do consider final report of the Committee on AIDS, Loan and Debt Management on the proposed 2018 to 2020 external borrowing plan number three, which is which laid 14 12 2021 Committee of the Supply, Safana said that the House do approve the underlisted ongoing negotiation of external borrowing of five billion dollars and a grant component of ten million dollars under the 
2018 to 2020 external borrowing rolling plan. The loan is part of the federal government 2018 to 2020 external borrowing plan. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Was Swoobie?